Hi, this is Spencer, your Tampa Bay Wallpaper Installer, coming to you from St. Pete in sunny Florida. So, we were talking about how to wallpaper an arch. And I can tell you that this is one of the most challenging things that a wallpaper hanger will do. So, I left you off where I clipped the edges of each side of the wall, just below the edge of the arch. And we cut them close, close to each other, that is, so that the wallpaper simply um, bends under the arch, okay? So, here's what we did. Now, this was the hardest part. And I want to share with you how you do it. So, you see the piece that's in the reveal? Isn't that beautiful? And also, doesn't it look like it belongs there? Take a look at that. See that? One of the benefits of having such a dramatic pattern as this is that those big pieces look like they fit, okay? We got an eagle or bird there, we got a bird there. Same thing, we kept the same strip going up, we got a bird there too. But when we came to the top of the arch, our pattern going up would start going upside down if we continued it, so we had to necessarily cut it. But you tell me if you'll ever notice that that's the seam. You're not coming through an archway looking for that. It looks like it belongs there, and that's why I chose to cut it right at the end of this thing. Okay? So take a look at my arch. Now, how do you cut this edge without cutting, without cutting the side of the wallpaper? Do you know what I'm saying? So I had to cut this piece, this piece right here. But how do I avoid cutting this? Well, I'm going to show you, and I'm telling you right now. You can do it. You just need to know how, okay? This is a $40 tool right here. So you can do a lot of things with it. You can plaster with it. You can also use it as a straight edge. Now watch this. You see what I'm doing with this? I'm putting this right up against my wallpaper on the wall, but right up against this edge. Then I take my knife from, from this side, from this side, and I slice the wallpaper against the metal edge so that my blade is never touching the wallpaper. Now, for you people who are really fanatical about perfection, you just realized that this adds a 64th of an inch to the cut surface, right? For those of you who were thinking, hmm, but that adds a little bit. Well, it necessarily adds a little bit. Watch this. So you understand how it, oh, sorry about that. Do you understand how I did that? Sorry about that, I'm doing this all along. I moved my blade, this, this blade, all along the arch in order to protect the paper under, the, under that tool. You see, if the tool is on the paper, it can't get cut, and that's how you do it. Now, you'll say, well, you have a little bit of paper hanging over, right? Right. Here's what you're gonna do. When it dries, it gets really hard and dry. Watch, watch this. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna go around the whole thing real slowly. And any little bit that's hanging over, any little bit, you're going to take the sharpest of knives. And I'm gonna show you what part of the blade you're gonna be using. You see the meat of this blade, not the tip, this part? You're gonna put that in and you're gonna pull it down like an X-Acto knife. An X-Acto knife will give you, a, uh, this at least hugs the wall. And you just go down it like this, watch this. You're gonna take the blade and you're gonna go down anything that's sticking over. I'm telling you at this point, it's really pennies. It's really tweaking it to perfection. But that's how you do it. Now you can put 
a flexible arch corner bead on this that's white in color or clear. But nonetheless, that's how you do it. Okay, this is Spencer, your Tampa Bay wallpaper installer. See you on the next one.